We love triangles. So let's see what we got here. Triangle phase six. Let's see if anybody knows this. A triangle is a polygon with blank sides. If everybody's hand isn't up, I know you didn't make it to kindergarten. I know that didn't happen. What is it, Natalie? Three. She's holding up three fingers just like we used to do in kindergarten, right? You gotta go like, oh, three. Okay. So a triangle with three blanks, A, B, and C, is written as triangle ABC. Three what? Angles. Vertices. So singular vertex. If you have more than one vertex, you have vertices. Um, okay. So far, so good. Not bad. And this is how we write it. Triangle, make a little triangle. Let's see. Classify triangles by size. I think we know this as well. So a scalene has how many congruent sides? A scalene triangle. How many? How many? Doesn't have any, does it? It has no congruent sides. Okay? An isosceles has at least how many congruent sides? Two. Two. Equilateral. How many? Three. Right? All the sides are congruent. Yes, sir. The previous slide when it said triangle A, B, C, isn't that the delta symbol? It's a delta and it's a triangle. It's working at both places. A delta looks like a triangle and a triangle looks like a delta. by triangles by angles. So an acute triangle has how many acute angles? What does acute mean again? An acute angle? Less than 90 degrees. So how many of these angles are going to be less than 90? What? All of, All of them. All three of them. A right triangle has how many right angles? Can it have more than one? Well, what would happen? Like, you know, you couldn't, you couldn't make your triangle. You couldn't close them. So you can't have two. It could be at most one. How about obtuse? Remember, obtuse is more than 90 but less than 180. How many obtuse angles can we have in a triangle? And we have two. I mean, like, so if this one was obtuse, it would be out here. I don't, we couldn't join up. We just wouldn't be able to do it. So yeah, we can't do it. Equally angular. What do you think that means? Equal angles, right? So how many of the angles are going to be congruent? All of three of them. So I think these are words we have seen before. Who has seen these words before? Some people. Some people. Not everybody. Okay. Interior and exterior angles. Interior angles. Guess where they are? Inside the triangle. Right? Exterior angles are outside the triangle. It's like you extend up an edge and you've got an angle. That's called an exterior angle. So which are my interior angles in this triangle? Which ones? One, two, three. Which ones? One, two, three. Angle one, angle two, angle three. So these guys are right here. Which are my exterior angles? Yes, ma'am. Mm -hmm. Yeah, what? Mm -hmm. and, uh, four, yes, right. Four, all the way through nine. Is that all of them? Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All those are your exterior angles. They're outside the triangle. The sum of the measure of the interior angles of a triangle is 180 degrees. Um, this is a theorem. So we can use this. Um, should I prove it or not prove it? Let's see if we can kind of talk our way through it. So there's a lot going on here. Um, I know, okay, so I, I draw this parallel line here for this triangle. These all add up to what, 180? Right? Now, for the parallel, this one, this one is going to be congruent to that one, right? And this one is going to be congruent to that one. So can you kind of see how can we can like lay them around and all the angles have to add up to 180? That's kind of cool. So that's kind of what this proof is doing for us. That's the, um, the five second version of that proof. Again, these are online if you want to kind of examine them a little bit more closely. But we have proven this, so we can now use this at all times. So triangle sum theorem, this is an example of one, and this one's on the bottom left here. The, the chart the forms a little... Okay. So we're going to find the value of x and classify the triangle. So all of them add up to 180, right? So what could I do here, Shield? Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight. I can add them all up, and they're going to add up to 180. So x equals 35? Okay, 
I did that right. Good. Thank you. Now, what kind of a triangle is this? First, can we, um, let's do it by angles. This one's 35 degrees. What kind of a triangle would be classified by angles? What is this? It's obtuse. How do we know it's obtuse? One of the greater. How about by size? Is this isosceles? Is this equilateral? What, what is this? It is a scalene. All the sides are going to be different. Um, if we don't see that right away, why? We're going to be doing a little bit more with angles and sides, and we'll see that relationship a little bit better, hopefully by next class. Um, what else do we know? A corollary to the triangle sum theory. You know what a corollary is? A corollary is very closely related to a theorem, and it's kind of obvious. So um, you can prove it easily using a theorem. The theorem we're going to be working with is the triangle sum theorem, which says all the angles add up to 180. So the corollary is, if you have a right triangle, the acute angles, the ones that aren't um, right, are going to add up to 90. They're complementary. Why is that kind of obvious? Why is that obvious? Yeah, because this is 90 plus whatever the other ones are have to be 180, right? So I can subtract that 90, and x plus y is going to be 90. Right? Those two things. So we, it's, it's kind of like an obvious, that is the, the four minutes proof of it, um, the words. But basically, this is what we're doing. You can subtract out the 90 from the 180 from the triangle. This is actually pretty useful. I, I use that one all the time because we love our right triangles. So find the value of x and then classify. This one I don't think is on your paper. So just look up here. Can we find the value of x using the correlate? Okay, what's it going to be? 45. Why? Why is that 45? By the corollary that says the two acute angles are going to be 90. So 2x is 90. x equals 45. Right? 45 degrees for that guy. Uh, this one is, this is on the bottom here. This is B. Let's just try this one. See what you get. See if you can figure this one out. And then classify. Oh, I forgot to classify. Guess what this is. It's a right triangle. Anybody know what the sides are going to make this thing? Yeah? It is going to be isosceles. And if we don't know why yet, that's okay. Isosceles. Okay, so do that when it's number two on the bottom of page one. Number two, bottom of page one. Yep. Yeah. is this one? Go over to read so you can look up here. Why can I say? 
set those two things equal? Yes? Transitive property of equality. Um, let's see, I can subtract out the um, measure of angle four, subtraction property of equality. So what am I getting here? The measure of angle one uh, equals two plus one. Oh, there it is. Pops right out. So this is a handy little thing. See these words here? I just, I just took it out. Um, so we can use that. It's kind of a neat one. Um, so what does that mean? If I want to find the value of y, all I have to do is add the 70 plus the 80. Uh, I'm going too fast. Is that right? Is that 158? I hope so. All right. You do this one. Why are you doing this one? I am handing out the homework, which is not on this, but which is on the parallel line stuff. Two papers. Thank you. 